have you tried to delete a part to see it rise from the dead? Like a zombie, it keeps coming back no matter how many times you kill it. Today, we dive into the world of zombie containers, <laughs> the parts that refuse to die. So in Kubernetes, there is a concept of controllers. You know controllers. So the controllers like deployments and replica sets make sure that the pods are running every time. So if by mistake you delete a pod, then it will keep coming back to the number of replicas that you have defined. Some of the other reasons for the zombie pods can be crash loop back off or failing the liveness pro. So let's try to see with examples each one of them. And first one we'll try to see the crash loop back of the pods that keep on restarting after crashing. Now I have a Kubernetes cluster and in that there is a pod which is in crash loop back off. And if I see kubectl get pods it keeps on coming back. That is because of the YAML manifest. There is a restart policy of always. That means if the container stops working, then the pod will restart itself. So if it exits and the process exits, it will keep on restarting. And we can see that the command is deliberately meant like this, exit one. In order to fix this, we will delete the zombie pod and we'll fix the command for this. So we can just delete this and add a new command. So this will keep the container alive. kubectl apply hyphen f zombie pod. It's no more a zombie. I saved it from you. And the pod is running. Now that was crash loop back off. That led to the zombie pod. Let's create a deployment next. kubectl create deploy zombie hyphen hyphen image nginx hyphen hyphen replicas 5 this has created 5 pods in the default namespace that is what the deployment does it creates 5 pods or the number of replicas that are mentioned so you can see there are zombie pods running in the default namespace if we try to delete kubectl delete pods hyphen hyphen all this will delete all the pods in the default namespace but if we do a kubectl get pods again it will start those pods again the pods keeps on coming back they are not dead yet that is the second thing that you learned today let's move on to the next scenario so we have a pod that I have created, not alive. I or you, you created that not alive pod. I will fix it. So what we'll see in some time that it is restarting. It keeps on killing it itself and then coming back from the dead. So what we can do is kubectl describe that the first step of debug describe pod. So the describe gives you the list of events. And here it is saying the liveness probe has failed. Let's see the not live yam. And we can see that the liveness probe has a wrong path in it. So we need to fix that. So that the wrong path becomes the right path. And the liveness probe do not fail. Another way is whenever you are debugging the pod is to check the logs. So kubectl logs and the name of the container. This gives you some of the idea what is happening. So if you see over here, it will give you get wrong path. So this is the wrong path that it's trying to get. Let's try to fix this. I think and save it. kubectl delete hyphen f not alive. And let's recreate that. kubectl get pods. And now if you see the pod is running perfectly fine. I fixed this one too. And you can see the logs again for this particular pod. 
everything is working fine. The quiz are passing successfully. Well, this is not the only scenario where stuff fails. The evil Halloween has a lot to say and this will not stop and so is our Kubernetes Pokey series. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon as else this series will haunt you always. And in the last I want to show you kubectl get events is something that you can also do to see what it's getting held. Sometimes it do not show in the describe or the log. See you in the next one.